and gentlemen, welcome to Schneider's Golf. Today is a great day. We are going to get the coolant tank and the chip conveyor up in Logan. And then we're going to prepare to get the horizontal HTC 400 Mazak. This is kind of a two trip deal. I need to figure out how to do the rigging. I've got a buddy that has a flatbed truck and then I need to rent a 15,000 pound forklift to move this mill. I need to go get the chip tank and the conveyor today. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up, we're gonna take a look at the mill and we're gonna bring home that chip conveyor. Let's get started. Just a quick little background on the machine that we're getting. Um, it was used in a medical device facility and this company said that there's a little bit of slop in the spindle which could be really bad if it's really bad. I really want a horizontal four axis mill and this is like a perfect opportunity to pick one up. There's no way I could afford a new horizontal mill. It just isn't feasible. So this should be really cool if it works like to have a mazak for this price would be awesome we're here so we got to find somewhere to put the truck and the trailer i think we'll go right here let's go get a chip conveyor and a coolant tank hopefully they'll fit on the trailer they're big and they're heavy i hope we can move them some of this stuff you just say yes and then you figure it out on the way it's not always planned. At least that's how it's been for me. I seriously underestimated the weight of this chip conveyor slash coolant tank. It's like one whole thing. Right, this is what it looks like. Three motors here for coolant. Got a second tombstone here and then there's a bunch of fixturing and stuff to go on the tombstones in the truck cab. Let's take this thing home, probably unload it, spray it off, get it inside hopefully before it snows. It's so weird to do stuff like this. It's almost like, why am I doing this? Like, it just seems like so much to do. But if it works, it'll be awesome. This is a very nice piece of machinery if it works. So. We made it! We made it home! The chip conveyor is here. Look at that thing, beautiful. So a guy that is here in Utah that works on Centroid machines just hit me up. He's here to check out my arrow and see why I can't get the spindle to orient correctly. Have a couple things to do here at the course. And then we'll unload this with the backhoe. So the way this works is this sits under the machine and there's like some screws that screw the metal out. It drops into this chip conveyor. It will go up through here and then it will drop out the bottom here. You usually put like a garbage can or some kind of a bin under here to catch it. And that way you don't have to like break out the chips like in the arrow. I have to climb inside of there and get chips in my fingers and my knees. It's just a pain in the butt. So to have a machine that has a chip conveyor is like a luxury. This got shelved and we went and worked on the arrow today. We got the arrow spindle encoder figured out, figured out what was going wrong. Uh, this I'm gonna have to probably shelf until Saturday or next week. And the more I get looking at it, it's kind of dirty. So it's gonna take a while to steam clean. And I'm gonna have to deal with all the chips because there's a lot of chips in the bottom of the tank. So I might have to like lift it up in the backhoe, spray it out and let them drop down in because I don't want to put this chip conveyor tank in and still have a bunch of chips in it. I want it to be clean when I put it in. Let me show you what we got done on the spindle and the spindle encoder on the arrow. It sounds so good. Okay, uh, I'm going to shut this off so you can hear me talk. 
So today was a big day. Today was a big win. I've been fighting this positioning card for probably, probably two months, trying to figure out what's going on, what's going on. He came and literally set one parameter and that was the difference. So you can get in over your head so easy with this stuff. I'm just so grateful that I have somebody. I've got a couple of people who are helping me through this, answering questions. Centroid's been awesome, as well as my local reps. So just hammering away at it, but we have the spindle working. The next thing is to get the tool changer working. The umbrella already comes over, but we need to get the index figured out. And then we're gonna be slinging some chips on this thing. I cannot wait, I am so excited. And then we have a horizontal pallet machine on the way. It's gonna go right here. I have no idea how it's gonna fit. I'm gonna have to move the table that I weld on and the bandsaw and the couch and move it out. And then I think we're gonna take the horizontal and stick it right in this area or against this wall here. So this shop will be jam packed with CNC mills. I love it, I'm so excited about it. And hopefully we'll be making some awesome putters here in the very near future. So thanks for being here. Thanks for coming on the journey to get the chip conveyor, to get this cool pallet, to get all these Mazak manuals. Hopefully, hopefully this horizontal mill will work, but it's kind of a fun adventure. The next video will probably be us going up getting the forklift, rigging the machine home, and hopefully placing it here in the shop, either on that wall or this wall. I gotta figure out where it's gonna fit the best. Thanks for being here. Hope you're having a great day. Get out and play some golf, and I'll see you next time. Take care.